Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Carl Moretti, uh, Vice President for Top Rank. I'd like to welcome you to Madison Square Garden for our initial press conference and official announcement of the June 11th HBO doubleheader uh, for Puerto Rican Day weekend, uh, which has become a great custom for us, uh, Top Rank, HBO, and Madison Square Garden. Um, just some quick announcements before I introduce uh, Bob to take us through the program. Uh, tickets, I believe, went on sale at 12 o'clock today, priced at 200, 150, and 35. Uh, the first fight that evening will be at 6 p.m. HBO goes on the air at 10 p.m. Uh, just some announcements on who will be on the off television version. Uh, first will be Julian Rodriguez, who's from across the river in Hasbrook Heights, and we know uh, the crowd that he brings to the garden. Uh, also, Christopher Petufo Diaz from Puerto Rico. Uh, a stable made of Felix and Ricky's. And um, Zhu Shiming, will, our Chinese Olympian, will also be on the card, and Bob can tell you a little bit about that uh, as he speaks. Um, the one other undercard fighter I'd like to introduce is sitting up here. Um, he's from New York. He's 2-0, uh, undefeated. I'd like to bring up his manager, a friend of ours, just to say a few words and introduce his fighter, uh, Mr. Richard Anthony. Richard. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Madison Square Garden. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Top Rank. It is our pleasure to introduce you to our fighter, Mr. Jose Gonzalez, a native New Yorker who is trained by his father, Martin Gonzalez. Jose comes from a great pedigree, but what I want you to take away today is he's a really great kid. 
He comes from a great family. He's got great values. He's got, he's hardworking. And let me tell you something, he has fast hands. So we're going to give you guys a great show. And uh, I'd like to introduce Jose Chocolatito Gonzalez. Good afternoon. I'm Jose Chocolatito Gonzalez. As a native New Yorker, it's a dream to fight in Madison Square Garden in the world's most famous, most famous arena, in the, in the mecca of boxing. I'm grateful to fight in MSG, and, and I'm grateful to, to, to thank Top Rank for letting me have the opportunity to fight in their show. Thank you. With a name like Chocolatito, I hope he can fight. He says he's his first cousin, but let's see. Um, it is 193 days to the general election. It's 44 days till June 11th. Um, on June 11th, it'll mark 50 years, two months, and 12 days. Um, from Ali to Foreman to Monzon to Leonard to Hagler to Hearns to Duran to Mancini, to Arguello, to Curry, to Tony, to Chavez, to De La Hoya, to Mayweather, to Pacquiao, to Carbajal, to Corrales, to Ayala, to Crawford, and hopefully one day to Lomachenko and Verdejo. Uh, this man keeps going. So uh, let me introduce the Hall of Fame promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. Yeah. Thank you, Carl. You know, it's so great to come back here uh, every year uh, on the eve of the Puerto Rican Day Parade uh, to bring you very, very unique boxing events uh, most of the time, almost all of the time, uh, featuring uh, Puerto Rican fighters. But this event on June 11th is special. Now, you know, maybe it's special because I've been in this sport for so many years, but I've never, I don't remember any boxing event uh, in the United States, professional boxing event, that featured two fighters, each of whom won two Olympic gold medals. Now, that is something that is unique, that's something we've never seen before, I don't believe, and that's something that who knows whether we're gonna see again. Uh, but on June 11, we'll have Zhao Ximing, who Zhao Ximing is uh, the pride of China. He won two Olympic gold medals, one in Beijing and one in London, uh, and uh, uh, he's fought for us uh, in China uh, for his professional career uh, and now uh, he told me that his great desire was to come to New York and to fight in Madison Square Garden. Uh, so he will be on the card and he'll be fighting Joseph Aste, uh, a Hungarian uh, who, believe it or not, will come in at uh, 112 pounds. Uh, I don't know how a Hungarian kid who eats goulash can make 112, but apparently he can because he's had uh, 17 fights, uh, 15 uh, wins, and 10 knockouts. Uh, so apparently he can make, he makes the weight. Uh, Zhao Ximing, uh, let me tell you a little bit about him. Uh, not only is he a terrific fighter, uh, but he is one of the great personalities in the country of China. Now, you know, China is the biggest country in the world. Well, maybe almost as big as India, maybe a little bigger than India, but around the, one of the biggest countries of the world. And he is one of the big stars in that country for his boxing ability and also because he is the star of a reality television show which features his wife uh, and his young son and himself, 
which gets the highest ratings ever on Chinese television. They do 60 million homes each show that he's in. Something incredible. And so I can say without any question that the telecast of this fight, plus Zhao Shiming's fight, plus the two feature fights, will be the highest teleca rated telecast of the year based on overall international ratings. I think we're going to do, uh, because it'll be over in China uh, in the morning, Sunday morning, because of the difference in time, I think we're going to do between 50 and 60 million homes watching this fight, his fight, Zhao Ximing, plus uh, uh, Martinez and Lomachenko, plus uh, Felix Verdeo and Martinez. We will have 50 to 60 million homes watching in China alone, by far the biggest boxing telecast of the year. And I want to thank uh, Takati, uh, our sponsor uh, that's been with us for so long. Takati will be sponsoring uh, this event. And I want to thank uh, my good friend Joel Fisher, uh, who uh, makes it all possible. When we think of coming to New York, we only think one thing, Madison Square Garden, because of Joel, uh, because of uh, Jim Dolan because of the great people that we deal with here at the Garden. Garden has always been the premier spot for boxing. Uh, back 50 years ago when I started uh, and it is today. So I'd like to introduce to you uh, the president of sports and entertainment from Madison Square Garden, Joel Fisher. between Martinez and Lomachenko and the uh, uh, fight between
between Felix Fredeo and uh, uh, Jose Martinez uh, will be televised by our good friends at HBO. Uh, so please welcome the Executive Vice President and Head of HBO Sports, Peter Nelson. Thank you, Bob. And I want to thank all the press for being here today. Um, Joel and Carl both mentioned uh, Bob's legacy in the sport. Among many of those fighters that Carl listed, many of them fought right here at Madison Square Garden. And so it's a tremendous legacy to keep up. Um, it's an amazing feat that still Bob is developing fighters that are making it at the HBO level. Um, it's something that people never give promoters enough credit for in terms of all the hard work and toil it takes to take kids from you know, straight out of their uh, amateur backgrounds um, straight into pros and trying to develop them to a point where they're fighting on a level they can fight on HBO. Um, we're thrilled to have these two fights. I want to thank Top Rank, Bob, Todd, Carl, Harrison, um, everyone on the Top Rank team helped bring this fight to life. Um, MSG as well. You know, we're coming off of a terrific event at the Forum, um, did tremendous numbers for us at the network, and we look to MSG as one of the great partners in the sport that recognizes the value the sport has coast to coast across uh, all peoples who look forward to seeing great, tremendous competitive boxing, which we see here again and again. Um, it's great. We got Young Town coming up here, Chocolatito. You can teach. Roman, some English. He can teach you one of those eight punch combinations. I'll be great. We'll get a good exchange going. Um, I want to thank the fighters and their teams on Lomachenko's side, Agus Klimas, um, as well as uh, Papa Lomachenko. And take a take a stand here. This is the man that made Lomachenko possible. We can just give him a of applause for it. One of the great trainers in the sport, um, as well as on the Verdejo side, uh, Ricky Marquez. Um, it's impossible to get these fighters to this point if there isn't for the good people behind them and their teams who keep their careers and their skills on track. Um, Peter Rivera here with uh, Rocky Martinez. Um, Peter's worked with us extensively in the past and um, we look forward to many fights with him in the future. So with these two fights you have uh, in the co-feature in the main event, you have Verdejo against Martinez in a classic Mexico versus Puerto Rico rivalry on Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend. Um, Verdejo on his continued ascent, coming off Prospect of the Year honors and now becoming one of the top contenders in the sport, in the lightweight division. And in the main event, Lomachenko against Martinez. Martinez being the champion, he's given us so many fight of the years over the years. Fought on the network before previously. It's great to have you back. Um, Vasil Lomachenko doing what great fighters do. You know, he felt that he had exhausted all the competition at the featherweight division at 126 pounds. You know, he could still easily make 126 pounds, but he decided, he elected to move up in weight to take on a harder challenge in a new phase of his career. It's really commendable. It's what great fighters do. Uh, our start time is 10 o'clock on June the 11th. We look forward to a packed house that night. Hope to see you all there in the arena. If you don't, stay tuned. DVR it. If you go to the arena, we'll see you there. Look forward to a terrific night on June 11th. Thank you. As uh, Carl said, tickets are going to go on sale here at noon. Uh, I see my friend Pat Lynch in the back. He's going to grab all the good tickets to sell it to the Chinese community in New York because they're very, very excited that Zhou Shiming is coming here for his first American fight. Uh, I think it's time now to uh, talk about the uh, uh, two uh, principal fights on the card. Uh, I'd like first to uh, bring to the microphone uh, a man who is training uh, and managing Felix Fredeo. Uh, he's going to tell you about the special preparations that Fredeo will be doing uh, for this fight because he fights a real tough Mexican in uh, Juan Jose Martinez, uh, who has a record of uh, 25 wins, uh, two losses, and 17 of those wins by knockout. So that's going to be a classic 
uh, Puerto Rican uh, Mexican fight. Uh, Ricky also trains and manages uh, another uh, terrific Puerto Rican fighter who will be on the card, uh, Christopher Diaz. Uh, so I'd like to call to the microphone Ricky Marquez.
main event. Uh, the WBO Junior Welterweight Champion, Lightweight, Junior Welterweight. Junior Lightweight. <laughs> right, yeah, right, okay. That's my next press conference. It's going to be the Junior Welterweight. Junior Lightweight, 130 pound championship. And it matches the 126 pound champion, uh, Vasil Lomachenko, against uh, a terrific world champion, uh, Rocky Martinez. This should be a terrific, terrific fight. Vasil Lomachenko has a record of five wins and one defeat. Uh, he lost his first uh, fight, uh, actually it was the second fight, uh, to Orlando Salido, uh, but he's come a long way picking up the professional game. Uh, he is, if people ask me who is the fighter that I most like watching, it's Vasily Lomachenko. I'm a big, big fan of to see the various technical moves that he makes, to see moves that he makes that I've never seen any fighter make before. It's really something special to watch him fight. Now, you know, he's not uh, a Triple G that goes out and can knocks people dead, but he's a guy who shows a full showcase of different boxing moves that's a real clinic. And it's a pleasure for us to bring him to New York and to have this vast audience in New York uh, pay attention and to watch a true artist. And he's here with his manager, who manages so many of the great fighters now from Eastern Europe, like uh, Kovalev, uh, and others. Uh, he's really uh, a guy who uh, should be and will be soon uh, voted as manager of the year. I'd like him to come to the microphone before I bring up uh, uh, Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, please welcome Igis Klimas. Nobody could even 
compete with him. And now, as a professional, it looks like uh, he's carving uh, his own uh, future uh, in the professional ranks. Uh, please welcome the featherweight champion of the world, Vasil Lomachenko. Hello everyone. I'm looking forward to my fight on June 11th. Yeah, it uh, looks like uh, test English for me. <laughs> this is my first main event fight and I'm happy about it. Uh, I think we will have a great time. My opponent, Roman Martinez, is a smart, strong and experienced fighter. Both of us fought Orlando Salida. I had a loss, he had a win. So, it's a fight will be remembered. On June 11th, Puerto Ricans will have their big holiday. After this fight, I think Ukrainian people will also have a holiday. <laughs> yeah. I want to say thanks to my team, my promoter for Farum, Top Rank, HBO, my family, my friends, and especially my fans. Thank you, muchas gracias, pasiva. Now that's something. I, I get such a kick out of that. They come over here to, the, to start fighting, they can't speak a word of English, and they hear about a year or so, and they speak better English than we can. <laughs> Rocky Martinez, three-time world champion, has a record of 29 wins, two defeats, three draws. He comes from the great country of Puerto Rico, and uh, he is one of the legendary uh, fighters in Puerto Rico. He's here with our good friend Peter Rivera, his promoter uh, from PR Best Boxing. So I'd like to call Peter uh, to the microphone together with Rocky. So Peter, you can do the full introduction of Rocky. Thanks, Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to thank of course, Bob Bottom, and Top Rank for this great opportunity, HBO, Peter Nielsen. Uh, it's an honor for us to be here again in the Madison Square Garden and make our boxing. Uh, also, I want to congratulate Bob again for his 50 years in boxing. Uh, say thank to him because everything that I know from this business, I learned from him. So he's basically my mentor, which I appreciate him. And thanks for that. Um, as you know, you know, um, Puerto Rican have a big boxing culture. Uh, we have many, many boxing champions in the island, and one of these great champions is Roman Rocky Martinez. He already been world champion three times, and he won to keep his title on June 11th. So, I mean, I heard many people saying good things about Lomachenko, which I believe is a great fighter, but also uh, we really have a lot of confidence in Martinez. So, I invite everybody, you know, to see this great event, this great fight on June 11th, um, because I know it will be here in historic night. Um, now I want to have the chance to introduce you with the uh, WBO Junior Lightweight Champion from Puerto Rico, Roman Rocky Martinez. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everybody. Quiero darle las gracias a los medios de la prensa, a los medios de comunicación. Thanks to the press. A Bob, a Peter Nelson, todos los presentes. Peter Nelson from the show. I know they have a great fight on June 11 against Basildo Machenko. But it's impossible. I'm going to do the best necessary to prepare his second fight to Basildo Machenko. It's a difficult fight, but it's not an impossible fight. I'm working on all the judgment to uh, beat him and he can have his second loss in his career. Many people see me as a rival, despite the fact that Basil is a great fighter, with a medal of gold, he doesn't take his merit, he's a great fighter, but he's a great fighter. Many people see me as an underdog, and I can understand that because he has a great amateur career, but 
you know, amateur boxing is something different as a professional boxing. Si un peleador, un, un veterano que tengo 35 peleas, he estado en diferentes guerras, eh, son guerras de pelea que cada pelea que uno va, uno va cogiendo experiencia. I'm a veteran fighter, I've been in many, many wars before, and I get a lot of experience from the wars. From the wars. Y estoy en un entrenamiento fuerte para esa noche subir como campeón y bajar como campeón. I'm doing my training very hard in Puerto Rico, so that night I can continue to be the world, world champion. Y también decirle a Basil que todavía, que si la oferta está de, la que la oferta que hizo a, a Nicolás Huerta, de, que si le ganaban a nuestros 100 mil dólares. Yo también quiero saber si todavía tiene la oferta para Walter. Él ofreció 300 mil dólares a Walter. No sé si él cambió su mente, pero todavía no está en el tablero. Yo sé que quiero decir eso. Yo también 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 quiero decir eso. Muchas gracias. Gracias a todos. forward uh, to the week leading up to June 11th when we'll all be back here in the Big Apple. Uh, no place uh, really buzzes like uh, the Big Apple uh, with all the Puerto Ricans in town for the Puerto Rican parade, which is Sunday, June 12th. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. The tickets are on sale now, $300 ringside. 200, 100, 50, and 35. Uh, the place holds around 5,000 people, so we anticipate a sellout. Uh, so tell your uh, listeners, your readers, uh, to get their tickets early. Uh, don't wait for the last minute, because as happened in January, when people waited for the last minute, there were no tickets left uh, on the last uh, uh, day uh, of the fight. Uh, we are confident uh, that the same, if not a quicker result, will take place uh, for this June 11 uh, show. Tickets can be purchased at the Madison Square Garden box office, all uh, Ticketmaster outlets, and if you use Ticketmaster, you can charge uh, by phone uh, on Ticketmaster. So thank you all for coming, and I look forward to seeing you all again here uh, for the week leading up to this great event and the Puerto Rican Day Parade on June 12th. Thank you.
Ja. Ja. Ja, hoor dan.